Hey guys, James here of TCG University. Coming back at you with another deck profile. This time, and thanks to David Guerra, I built a Mega Man 3 deck. Uh, he said he wanted to see what I could do with Mega Man 3. Uh, Mega Man 3 ended up on my tier list of uh, characters that in my opinion would be in D tier. And then I built this deck and played it a little bit. And he's definitely like a C minus. He, he can do things. He has, he, has, he has stuff he can do right now. Specifically just because of Suzaku and because um, of all the cool order characters from uh, Seventh Cross. So um, let's get into the profile and I'll show you what I built. Okay guys, Mega Man 3 is a... Um, oh, they put him on the other side. No, good order water character. Uh, we're playing order obviously I mentioned at the beginning of the thing. He has two abilities. First one's a static. Your character cards get minus three difficulty. These are zero diffs in his... Whenever you play them, they're a zero diff foundation that you just stack for free if you need them. Uh, then his other ability is form once per turn. Discard the top four cards of your deck. You may add one attack discard this way with a printed difficulty of X or less to your hand. X equals two plus the number of characters in your staging area. So it's three, four, five, six. So just remember that for later. It'll come in handy. I have them. I am actually in order, so we remember. But um, that's all he does. He just gets to add a free character. Uh, he was a lot better when you could stack other Mega Man and uh, get a bunch of abilities and do a bunch of cool stuff. But uh, now he's kind of just kind of sitting around doing nothing. But uh, I'll show you what I built. He could do a couple cool things, so let's get into it. Uh, we play two-stop. Our character doesn't do a lot, and we don't want our opponents to do a lot. So uh, that's, that's basically the premise of that. Uh, we're playing four Punch and Judy. Each for each of Punch and Judy. Uh, just kill somebody, please. That's all. That's all it's built for. Good defense, great offense. We're playing the only three diff, so it's the only card you can pick up with one Mega Man. Bloodthirst. It's a three low for three combo with a gauge. All of our attacks are gauge. Uh, combo E. Add one character card that shares a name with your starting character and add it from your discard pile to your staging area, so you get to get another character for free. Uh, then E, remove one gauge attack from your discard pile. If you're at 8 or less vitality, gain 4. So it's very good at just building us more characters and just being a 3 damage attack that they have to kind of sometimes deal with. Uh, 3 Ashen Claws. It's a 3 high for 4. This one's playable with 2 characters. You get to pick it up with 2 characters. You get a Freeze Committed Foundations. has a 0 high block. At Deadlock, lets you search for more gauge attacks. It's really nuts. Uh, also picked up by 2 Mega Men is Golden Arrow. It's a 4 diff, 3 high for 4, gauge 4. Uh, flip one other card in your card pool. This attack gets plus X speed. So you play like one card, flip this, give it plus 4 speed because it gets uh, plus 3 speed, gets printed difficult, uh, printed control. And then you just have more things, to, more speed on that just to like deal damage. Uh, also picked up by two Mega Men, Lightning Torture. It's a gauge 4 throw that says if we have at least two characters, it gets 3 damage, meaning on a half block it's going to deal Four and it's going to get us our other characters. Three light storm of torment. Uh, if there are at least two characters in our staging area, we can re remove it. Discard after it resolves. Really good. It's a five minute for five with gauge four. It has safe. It's desperation four. E discard momentum. Search your deck for a character that shares the same name with your starting character and add to your hand or staging area so we get to build more characters faster if we need to. Uh, four desperate. Uh, sorry, this one's picked up on. Two characters, uh, three characters, sorry. And then picked up on four, all four characters, you get Dust for Dust. Dust for Dust is a no block, six diff, four mid for five, with gauge five that says if you have at least two characters, this ignores progressive, so you get to play for free at the end of a chain. Uh, search your deck for one gauge attack and add to your hand. Your opponent can commit and freeze a foundation to cancel. Uh, if they can't commit or freeze their one of their foundations, you get to do this for free, and you kind of just pick up Dust for Dust and just play them repeatedly. It's basically an idea for that. Uh, the last, card, last stack we're playing is Prism Storm of Torment. It's a 7 diff, 1 low block, 7 high for 7, gauge 7, deadlock stun 7. Uh, the main part of this card is, if it's the 7th card you're going to attempt to play for a turn, it ignores progressive difficulty and there's no check necessary and you just play it. Uh, its only ability is E, add all characters that share your name with your starting character to your staging area. So basically if you have enough foundation you just play this and then stack all your characters. But mainly we play it in conjunction with Punch and Judy to kind of get up to the 6 play this for free on the seventh card have a seven high for seven that they have to deal with 
Uh, onto the foundations. We're playing four. Bear the Makai Whistle. It says flip. Give negative two to a gauge rating. Middle character out of our deck. Playing four Feifei. Uh, negative speed to block better. Two Demon Hide to turn off things like uh, Coffee Samba and High Seas. Two Ageless to protect our foundations. We play a bunch of characters. So four Suspicious Mr. X. We need to commit one card to our opponent's stage area with a difficulty of X. X equals the number of characters we have. At max, we can commit a thing up to four. Getting to commit three diffs is very nice. Uh, four, the Prism of Seven. Uh, this is a free plus one speed to all of our gauge attacks. And then we can remove we can remove it to add one character from our remove from game pile to our hand or to our momentum. We never really use that. We never get to remove characters from anything, so it doesn't matter. One Radical Edward. When we check it, we add a Mega Man, which is basically, like I said, a spam foundation. And then we can commit to commit like unique foundations. Uh, for Rain the World of Outsiders, this makes things like my three diffs or my small damage attacks very lethal or at least good damage attacks to do something, as well as just giving more damage to the attacks that are already big. Two Securing is Destiny to turn off problem cards, problem attacks, big attacks like Missile Launcher and whatnot. Two Nightmare Terrors to block cards like Cherry Toe and, and uh, uh, Missile Launcher and whatnot. One Bebop Blues to stop our opponent from playing actions on our turn like Stop and Bang. Three, Leader of the Saintly Beast. Uh, form, reveal the top five cards of your deck. You may add one character or gauge card to reveal this way to your hand and discard the rest. This is mainly good because we need to add more cards to be able to hit that seven number for the uh, Prism Storm. So, like, getting more cards in is very good. Uh, we play high difficulty things like um, Dust or Dust. So, writing Foundation with God of Thunder is very, very good. As well as just getting to play better defense by writing things. And then the last card we're playing is Mushroom Experimentation. Its ability is E, commit your character. Both players discard two cards, draw two cards. Our character is worthless on our opponent's turn, so we don't need it. And then E, destroy, discard cards with six checks, like our bunch of duties, and reduce the damage down to one. Thanks again for checking out the profile, guys. If you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash tcguniversity. If you like the profile, make sure to go down below and leave a comment. Tell us what you thought of it. Tell us what you want to see in the future. Again, shout-outs to David Guerra for the suggestion. I was unsure how well this deck was going to go. Uh, but I got to play, I played a few matches with it, was really enjoying it, gave me a lot of ideas for actually a bunch of other characters. Uh, but like Mega Man just has the problem of, he was built as a, the third Mega Man was built as a support character to stack the other two. And without the other two in the format, he's a lot weaker than he need, than he, he wants to be. Uh, I tried to make it as playable as possible. Uh, it does a lot of cool things and I really enjoyed playing it. Uh, the ideas I have for the future, for like future decks that you might get to see, are going to be really, really cool. Um, so yeah, guys, stay alert.